Hey everyone, this is Arman and welcome back to part 2 of what is polymers. So, let's have a closer look at these in detail. First of all, web components. Web components. These standards provide the primitives you need to build new components. You can build your own custom elements using these primitives. But it can be a lot of work. One small problem is that not all browsers support these standards yet. So Web Components Polyfill library fills the gaps implementing the APIs in JavaScript. The Polymer library provides a declarative syntax that makes it simpler to define custom elements. It adds features like templating, two-way data binding and property observation to help you build powerful reusable elements with less code. We will see all of these in detail in the future lectures. In short, if you want to build your custom elements, this is the library you want to use. If you don't want to write your own elements, there are a number of elements built with Polymer that you can drop straight into your existing pages. You can mix and match elements built with Polymer with other custom elements. And of course, you can use elements built by other developers. Let's recap. Polymer is a library to build web components. It makes it faster and easier to build web components, which you can use everywhere. Keep in mind that Polymer is not a framework. Web component primitives is not a framework. The advantage of the Polymer library is that if you build web components with Polymer, you can use these with other frameworks. Now, the existing web platform is the basis of all web apps today. This is the picture of how web apps are built today. But now it is more capable because we have this new layer of web components. And these components form a new ecosystem on top of which apps and frameworks exist. So when you build an app, you have a whole new set of building blocks to choose from. In this way, we will have extended our HTML vocabulary. For every problem you're gonna have as a developer, there is or will be an element. And if there isn't an element, you can use Polymer to build your own so that all the developers after you don't have to. Now let's have a quick summary. We defined the problem we have with nowadays HTML. One of them is the lack of expression and the second one is the limited set of elements we can use today. Our solution is to build custom elements using web component primitives. One technology which provides simple custom element implementation and also new sets of custom elements to use is Polymer. Lastly, we had a look at what these are. Okay, so far so good. Now it's time to dive further into Polymer and see how we can use a custom element and how we can create our own custom elements. So, Hope to see you in the next lecture.